With so many other things to worry about, it's easy to tune out all of the financial news. But as Simply Money's Nathan Backrack explains, paying attention to what the Federal Reserve is doing could save us some money. The report on gross domestic product, now that's all the goods and services that are produced here in the U.S., jumped by 4% in the second quarter, and that's thanks in large part to you and your neighbors. What Americans spend at retailers, the grocery store, the furniture store, and the car lot all add up to about two-thirds of GDP. So when you spend more, GDP goes up. Companies also spend more on technology and equipment, and that's a sign they're more confident about the recovery. Here's another sign. Payroll firm ADP says the private employers added 218,000 new jobs in July. But the Federal Reserve says it's not yet ready to start raising interest rates. Fed Chair Janet Yellen wants to see more proof that the economy is back on track. So here's the Simply Money point. If you owe money on your credit cards, you've got about six months to pay it off before the rates will start to rise. And don't commit to any long-term CDs right now. Hey, who wants to lock in a low rate now only to see rates rise next year? For Simply Money, I'm Nathan Backrack.